bleed up there. That's a, that's a lot of blood. That's a lot of nose. Phoenix forcing Sal to tag out to delay. Phoenix placing delay right in the suicidal tendencies corner. And the head of Renaro into delay's crotch. And I have a feeling that's not the first time it's been there. Thanks for the update. Uh, Sal's instincts are getting the better of him. That was a really weird segment. And Jason Cross. Salvatore Renaro just got a bustle in his hedgerow thanks to suicidal tendencies and the head of cool Seth the ladies man. Some ladies man, eh? And the guys who totally rule uh, licking their wounds. Uh, let me rephrase that. And so little Tennessee's threaten a dive over the top rope, and the guys who totally rule totally scatter. Attempted a triple torpedo there, but no luck. No more torpedoes for the guys who totally rule. Cool Seth needs some uh, cooling down in the nether regions. Boy, Delay, he's, he is hot. Well, he was quite frankly embarrassed right in front of everyone there. And now goes to the rake of the eyes with a cheap shot. Cool Seth doing what he can to keep John Phoenix at bay. And the leg tag. And Mike Posey, who has seen more than a few uh, problems with the guys who totally rule. Double hip toss, double fist drop by Jacobs and Phoenix, former wild side tag team champions themselves. Scooping a slam by all that. Adam Jacobs, big forearm across the throat. It's good to have a referee like Mike Posey making sure that none of that shenanigans from uh, the guys who totally rule are in place here tonight. Fans want to see an exciting matchup with the return of suicidal tendencies. And the suicidal guillotine. And Sal in to break that pin attempt even before the first count. Well, we know the history that Mike Posey has with the three guys <laughs> that totally rule. What we've seen in the ring. Oh, that's right. So, back. We've seen Mike Posey in the ring against the, the former Zero X. It looks like he's playing a little bit of favoritism in this match, but you have to understand... Uh, this guy's been screwed over so many times by three guys who totally rule. It has to be sweet retribution. Well, the matchmakers of Wildside believe that Mike Posey's the man for this matchup. He needs to get some law and order here, which is such what we need, considering the characters involved, no doubt. Off the ropes, Rave goes up and over, but Rave lands on his feet. Hooks Jason Cross, side Russian leg sweep, locks the leg, and has Cross tied up in a world of punishment. He's hooking the mouth. And Cross is firing back by biting the fingers of Rave. Not quite Greco-Roman, but it certainly is effective. Well, the tendencies were never orthodox. Yeah, no argument here. Rave is counting his fingers, make sure he still has 10. Oh, I think he's got the nine. Thumb to the eye by Rave, sends Phoenix into the three guys' corner. But Phoenix manages to fight on back, even though in an unfamiliar terror, an unfriendly territory. Nagasa Teru. Uh, the three guys, double gut buster. That hurt. Sal hooks the leg. Well, Mike Posey getting up what seems to be a somewhat of a slow count. A little slow? <laughs> the thing Renaro's beside himself. This is great. That's terrific. Sunset flip. Two the, count by Jacob. Uh, the, the tempo seemed to have perked up a little bit there. Uh, doesn't seem to be a real good night for the guys who totally rule. As Sal just lands on his keister, but responds in kind, oh, with eyes, with a finger poke to the eyes. Definitely the great equalizer of this matchup. Big back suplex by Renaro. Tag made into cool Seth Delay. Drop toe hold onto the knee. Big snap suplex by Delay.
And cool, Seth the ladies man. Self-proclaimed, I might point out. With what appears to be a rear chin lock on all of that, Adam Jacobs. Jacobs able to get off the vertical base with a pair of elbows, putting the kibosh in that headlock. Sunset flip, a two count. Delayed charges hard with hey, the clothesline. Very convincing one, too. Rave in for a cover. Jacobs still able to get his shoulder up. And the guys are totally ruled, taking some uh, severe umbrage at the action so far of referee Mike Posey. Well, you, you make your bed, you're lying. It's sorry, guys. And Posey almost giving no five count to Jimmy Rave there in the corner. Looks like it's going to be an uphill battle for the guys who totally rule tonight as suicidal tendencies make their triumphant return as a group here at NWA Wildside. Of course, things are looking too triumphant for all that Adam Jacobs at the moment. Ronaro slingshot suplex from the apron to the outside, hook of the leg, and a two count. Mike Posey, they had another cool and methodical uh, count. Whoa! Curious of all, Jimmy Rave is now realizing about this, this uphill battle we have discussed here with the guys who totally rule. Jimmy Rave with a sleeper hold applied onto Adam Jacobs, looking for the wind here. Rave cutting it off with a consistency. And Jacobs firing back with a pair of elbows. Snap neck breaker. Beautifully executed by Jacobs. And an opportunity to make a tag to a fresh man. A tag is definitely in an order. And here comes Jason Cross, the role model who's putting the imprint of his own forearm in the heads of the guys who totally rule. Boy, Jason Cross is a complete blur. Close line, since Renaro to the outside, the guys who totally rule are definitely in trouble. John Phoenix to the outside! And Phoenix knocks out the entire Totally Rule team. And all that Adam Jacobs is looking for his turn. Looks like he's about to get it. Jason Cross, the floor is yours. The role model Jason Cross is gonna take flight. Twisting Cook's group plancha. 